So we have an inequality here, negative 3x is less than 27. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at a wrong way to approach this first. Uh, so what somebody might think on seeing this is, well, maybe I will just divide both sides by negative 3. And what that would do is that would remove the negative 3 from the left-hand side and leave us with x over there. And 27 divided by negative 3 would give us a negative 9. And so we get this statement that, uh, well, to solve it, then x needs to be less than negative 9. Well, let's try this. If we try a value that's less than negative 9, like x equals negative 10, let's say, uh, and put that back into this original equation, uh, what you'd find out is, well, negative 3 times negative 10 would actually give you positive 30. And you get this statement that 30 is less than 27, um, which we know isn't the case. Um, so that, that approach is wrong. Um, so to avoid this sort of thing, something that you're going to need to remember to do it the right way is uh, I would begin this uh, by dividing both sides by negative 3, as we did. Um, but the change you want to make is you want to flip that inequality sign so it points the other way. Um, and so the overarching little rule you want to remember is to flip it if you divide by a negative number. Um, let's just check if this worked. So uh, the statement here is that x should be greater than negative 9. So if we try negative 8, which is greater than negative 9, um, we would get a statement uh, that positive 24 is less than positive 27, and that is true. Um, so it, it does work. Um, so the overarching principle here is that you want to flip that inequality sign if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number. Um, let's look at one more case here. Um, what we want to do here is uh, see what happens if we uh, have an inequality that looks like this. Negative 3x plus 6 is less than or equal to 27. Well, the first little algebra move that most of us would make would be to, uh, well, add negative 6 to both sides, uh, otherwise known as subtracting 6 from both sides. And that will leave you with uh, negative 3x on the left because you'll have gotten rid of the 6. Um, and then 27 minus 6 is 21. So you get negative 3x less than or equal to 21. You wouldn't flip the inequality sign here because we haven't uh, multiplied or divided by a negative number. Um, and so then what we, want, we, what we would do here next is divide by that negative 3 um, to get rid of it from the left. Uh, so divide by negative 3 to isolate the x. Um, but notice that what we did here is not only did we divide both sides by negative 3, but we also flipped the inequality sign. Um, and so um, this is the way that you want to approach it. The, the key is um, if you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you're going to want to remember to flip that inequality sign.